From the title of this presentation, some viewers might be asking themselves, just what is the difference between attention deficit disorder and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder? The answer turns out to be a matter of degree. Attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, or ADHD, according to the United States National Library of Medicine, is an inability to focus, the displaying of overactive behavior, not having control over behavior, or some combination thereof. People with ADHD and ADD are separated by common symptoms. People that mostly cannot focus fall into the ADD group, while the more disruptive behaviors of hyperactivity and inability to control behavior are the people diagnosed as having ADHD. Many false beliefs and ideas exist attempting to explain the cause or causes of ADHD. Some even suggest ADHD does not exist, implying all the treatments and interventions prescribed are useless. This work will bring to light some facts concerning ADD, ADHD, and in the process offset some of the myth surrounding ADD, ADHD. According to Bernard Doyle, in everyday speech, a myth refers to an unreal or imaginary story. Knowing some symptoms does not really explain what ADD, ADHD is and who is likely to be diagnosed with it. According to an article published by Akron General, attention deficit disorder is underactivity of the frontal cortex of the brain. The frontal cortex is responsible for the regulation of attention, impulse control, and motor activity, and that ADD is mostly inherited or passed from generation to generation. Some researchers think as many as 80% of the ADD cases are genetic, leaving the remainder to environmental issues, trauma, or illness during pregnancy. Myth maintains that ADD, ADHD does not exist and is just a lack of willpower since people with ADD, ADHD seem to focus well on things that interest them. According to Help Guide, this is not true, that ADD may appear as a lack of willpower when research indicates ADD, ADHD is a chemical problem within the brain's management systems. Others assert that ADHD is a lack of discipline and bad parenting, and what children really need is a good old-fashioned spanking. According to Chad, that's children and adults with attention deficit disorder, this is not the case, and that research unequivocally proves that arbitrary discipline without intervention makes the problem worse. Fortunately, different treatment options are available for people diagnosed with ADD, ADHD. One option is therapeutic treatment with stimulant medications. However, some think that studies have not demonstrated that taking medication has lasting benefits for people diagnosed with ADD, ADHD. Again, this is not the case. Research has repeatedly proven that medications do not lead to addictions or psychosis and that people diagnosed with ADD, ADHD benefit greatly from therapeutic treatments using medications. Although misconceptions exist regarding ADHD, research spanning 95 years attempts to set aside non-factual beliefs and opinions. It is through education and turning to empirical evidence that understanding overturns false belief and opinion. It is hoped that viewers will become interested to find out more about ADD, ADHD.